Hey folks, Mr. Justin here with Secret Weapon Miniatures and a look at our new Gothic Terrain power generator. This is a six part resin kit that includes four yellow acrylic rods. I'm going to show you how to assemble this so that your finished piece looks a little something like this. And now let's take a look at the kit. I have my handy dandy cutting mat here and a bone saw. I do recommend the bone saw over a hobby knife uh, for cutting off of the sprue. You can, of course, use your hobby knife, but it's going to take a little longer. In this case, I'm going to come around from the flat side. Get reasonably close to the edge. You don't want to get right up on the edge. Uh, it's easier to clean up sprue, a little excess sprue at the edge of your hobby knife than it is to try and re-sculpt a section of this. Fortunately, we've done the sprue on flat sides, so it's nice and easy to clean up. See, I'll have a little bit of cleanup going on here, but nothing too egregious. I'm using the edge of my cutting mat to elevate the pieces instead of cutting directly onto the mat since I don't have to go uh, all the way down. There's very little risk to my desk here. I'm just going to cut one of these out and then I will zip ahead in the video here so you don't have to watch me cut through all four. There's our first piece. And I'm going to cut the others and be right back. Alright, and I am back with all of my components. The first thing I'm going to do is take the base and my acrylic rods insert the acrylic rods into the base. I'm just doing a dry fit here to show you how it goes together. I will paint it in pieces uh, and I recommend you do the same otherwise it's going to be difficult to get to things like under the top here. Take the top, line up your acrylic rods Make sure that's nice and snug. Give it a little rotation, a little wiggle. Push down so it's nice and snug. There is your top and your base. On the base, you'll notice a little triangular divot. And on the side posts, you'll see a triangular widget. And a little shelf here. Let's see where those line up. Nice and snug. Very straightforward. Uh, for my part, I'd add a little bit of glue on the shelf here and a little bit of glue in the divot and along this line so that it's a solid fit when it goes together and less likely to be broken apart if it gets bumped over on your table. Yeah, once it's all assembled and glued, this is one that I primed heavily just to show the finished assembled product. You get a nice green look out of those acrylic rods. Nice day glow color. And since I know folks are going to ask about scale, uh, here's a scale comparison next to a Games Workshop Imperial Guard model. And of course the style matches well with the rest of our Gothic Terrain. Here's one of the Gothic Terrain tank traps. And we'll have more Gothic Terrain pieces coming for you throughout 2012. Stay tuned for more, and of course if you have any questions, drop an email to Mr. Justin at secretweaponminiatures.com.